We know that there are buildings on site by the end of the 1850s and the early 1860s. The area is described from the 1860s as being working class and in the 1930s it's described as a slum. their archaeology and their history. So this is interesting and exciting for them and it gives them an understanding of their past. When we excavate a room, we divide it into one metre squares and we excavate each square. In this way, we can actually get a picture of areas of activity where children played, where the mother might have sewed by the back door or window, where the father might have sat by the fire smoking, those sorts of things. And so we get an understanding of spatial use of a house. Most of the artefacts that we find are under the floors and most of the houses are built before the introduction of tongue and groove floorboards. So the floorboards just butt together. So the gaps in the floorboards, things fall through. The biggest surprise was an area that's paved in inverted ginger beer and stout bottles. At least one of the ginger beer bottles has a maker's mark, which is Lambeth, London, which has to be at least before 1891. The house foundations are sandstone block foundations with a brick superstructure. Most were dwellings and a lot of them were shops with a residence above and behind. That's a traditional way of running a business. They're very small. The rooms are roughly four metres by four metres. The chances are really good that there are a lot of people living in a house. There could have been more than one family per house. People came to live here because it was close to work. This is the area that became very industrialised. Living in the area, you probably don't know as much about it. It used to be panel beaters and mechanics and things like that. I was born in the street. I was born in 54. My family's been there since about 42, 43, in the street. I didn't know these were here, and that's what's very interesting to me. I was really impressed by all the glassware, the medicine bottles, the little blue ones. I just think it's crazy how things that are glass and so incredibly old are still completely intact. Everything will be processed, everything will be cleaned and analysed. And then, after the project is finished, exciting things will be put on display. Mm -hmm.